Last June, a gunman walked into Pulse, a gay club in Orlando, Florida, and killed 49 people. Now theater performers in our region are joining an international movement to remember those lost that night at Pulse. Linda McInerney, artistic director at Eggtooth Productions in Greenfield, came in to tell us more about this Western Massachusetts edition of After Orlando. Eggtooth is putting forth a piece called After Orlando, and it's, it's more of a movement, Jim. It's kind of an interesting mm -hmm. uh, project uh, that uh, a company called Missing Bolts, mm -hmm. along with another company uh, in conjunction with a company called No Passport, yeah. uh, put out a request for proposals uh, to some of the finest playwrights in America and asked and commissioned them to write short plays uh, in tribute, in honor, in memory of the victims of the Pulse uh, mass murder at, in Orlando that took place on June 12th uh, of this year. Mm -hmm. And um, so there are dozens of these very powerful plays that actually do everything. Some of them are funny, some of them are heartbreaking, some of them are rage-filled, all of them are short. And um, so we are very lucky to have the opportunity to present an evening of these short plays because these two theater companies have made them open source. Mm -hmm. There have been already more than 40 different productions across the United States to keep the memory of these people alive. And and to stay strong against uh, the, the, the power of hate mm -hmm. uh, so that the power of love will win over. Mm -hmm. And um, we've got 11 different plays mm -hmm. that uh, my friend Josh Platt has uh, so sweetly chosen. He's read all of them and has put together what's really a very powerful evening and he'll be directing. And if uh, you uh, let me read them out yeah, loud, that would be great. Explain. Because of the way this is done, there are, what, 70 plays, yes. I think, all together. Yes, you can't dozens. do all of them. Right. You just can't do that. You pick and you choose, it's open source, and the one thing the folks managing this ask you is, when you do a production, when you do some publicity, please tell people what play, whose play you're doing, so let's do that. Exactly, so we're gonna honor the playwrights. I'll let's. put on my reading glasses, you won't mind. <laughs> All right, so here's the list of plays. One is called I Hear Gunshots by Brian James Pollock, Claim by Ken Urban, After by Caridad Zvich, The Healing Power of Bright Colors by Ryan Geelan, At the Store with My Daughter by Rohina Malik, Our Friends by Joan Lipkin, Pistols by Andy Fields, Orlando 202 AM by Mc Migdalia Cruz, I Won't Be Afraid by Jessica Litwack, and there's a, a wonderful connection there. Jessica is actually a local uh, companion. She lives in New York City now. She's a, a quite a successful playwright living in New York, and she wrote I Won't Be Afraid, Jessica Litwack, and then Is Love by Viet Nguyen. Um, so those are the list of plays that we'll be offering uh, on the 13th of January up in Greenfield at a place called Jack's Studio, uh, which is on Nine Mill Street in, uh, in uh, Greenfield. And the interesting thing is this is uh, because it's open source, this is a free event for anyone who wants to come. We'll accept donations, uh, but uh, come, come one, come all, 7.30. Couple things, as I look, looked over the list earlier, as I heard your list today, there are some major names in there in the they, theatrical mm -hmm. world that said, yeah, we got to do something about this. That's right. Some of the some of the finest playwrights in America have risen to this challenge, and and it's kind of a wonderful opportunity. The theatrical community is sort of uniquely positioned for this because we are a collaborative art form. We work collectively, and the the sort of open source interconnected way of working works very well with us. I mean, a playwright living in Los Angeles can write a ten minute play, share it with the world, and our actors from Western Massachusetts can come together and present it. As have you know, more than forty different companies across the country. So what you what you get really is this activist movement and a way for us all to speak out against uh, against violence uh, against the LGBT community mm -hmm. in a collective way so that we're doing this in a in a kind of interconnected uh, kind of a way which um, has has a greater impact I think and it allows us to to uh, keep this message alive because that's the that's the fear you know is that a moment like this passes in time and we mm -hmm. just slide it under the carpet and that's mm -hmm. not that's not right. We're not doing that. We're particularly now when marginalized communities really feel under, I'm not even going to say under the gun, feel under pressure uh, in new ways. We need to rise up uh, in a stronger way, Jim. Well, let me, let me pick up on that because in the release you sent out, <clears throat> how I learned about this, great quote from your director, Joshua Platt, where he said, I'm, I'm not getting this exact, but pretty darn close. This is about, after Orlando, it's about where we are now, the isolation and oppression that fall onto LGBTQ people, 
people of color, Muslims. It's been a tough year in a lot of ways in this country. A lot of anger, a lot of, a lot of fright among people. Someone I'm close to I know who is bi is frightened to the point of sickness yeah. because what's coming? Coming, we don't know, and there has been this sort of, uh, sort of uh, allowance of venom, an allowance of hatred to be expressed in ways that I don't think we've observed before, and and we need to bind together to uh, to oppose that, so that um, so that love wins. Mm -hmm. Love has to win. I noticed two of the plays that are being performed. The last one you mentioned, I think, is Is Love. Mm -hmm. That took me back to the night after, the shootings, the Tony Awards. Yeah. yeah. Lynn manuel Miranda. Yep. That's what he said over and over it's again. Love, it's love, it's love, it's love, it's love. It's, it's heartbreaking still <clears throat> to think about the families ripped apart the lives that were destroyed, and the onus that was put on anybody in this country who feels they're different yeah. by what happened. And this, it seems to me, after Orlando, is really trying to address that. Absolutely, taking it on straight on um, so that it opens conversation. So there's, there's the other piece. I'm negligent of not having said that before, but um, this is to keep us conversing and discussing and and battling and you know discoursing this topic we we can't we can't let it go we need to keep talking about it and again the theater has a wonderful way of bringing people together um, as a matter of fact I should say this out loud here's another thing I forgot about um, after uh, after Orlando after the performance is done we are all meeting together at a local bar that is just across the street called Seymour to continue a conversation. So thank you, Nathan. We're going to bring as many people over to see more across the street and really engage in conversation about what's next. Like, this is one thing we can do, but what else do we do, and how do we keep moving forward, and how do we keep, uh, keep safe? Let's give the particulars again, if anybody missed them. When, where, it's, it's free, but donations will be accepted because the power for the lighting and the heating that right, night in the that, theater that ain't free, paid. right? So. Right. So here we go. So after Orlando, January 13th at 7.30 at Jack's Studio, uh, which is number 9 Mill Street in Greenfield. There's more information on my website, which is eggtooth.org, but tickets are free, donations accepted. Thanks for having me, Jim. Uh, Appreciate Linda it so much. Eggtooth Productions, thank you and all the folks that are doing this. It's after Orlando. We've all got to think about this. It's yes. important. It's critical. Critical. Thanks for coming. Thank